Hey, what's up guys? Nick White, I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I do all of the leak code algorithm problems and all of the um, hacker rank data structures algorithm problems. So I have playlists for both of those. Please go check those out if you get the chance. I just go over all the solutions. Uh, right now I'm doing the interview preparation kit on hacker rank, uh, sorting comparator problem. Um, I looked at the editorial already. It says medium, but it's like a two line solution and it's pretty easy and she kind of I don't know. So Gail Lockman McDowell, uh, author of the best-selling interview book, Cracking the Coding Interview. Uh, if you guys didn't know, you probably should. Um, she designed this problem, and her editorial is like basically just, uh, I don't know, I'll explain in a second, but uh, let's just read it. Comparators are used to compare two objects. Uh, I'm not up to date on these comparator things. Apparently it's important. I don't, I don't Maybe I learned it in data structures. I don't remember. Um, in this challenge, you can create a comparator to sort an array. Player class is provided in the editor below. So we there's basically a player class. It, each player has a name and a score. And you don't have to read all of this. The, the We're given a list of players, right? So every player has a name and a score. And we want to sort the players by decreasing score. So, you know, the players with the best scores will be at the front of the array. Players that, with the worst scores will be at the end. And if the players have the same score, so say that both of the players scored like 20 points or something, then we check who has the lexicographically better name. Um, sort, we sort it lex lexicographically by name. So, you know, like Andy is going to be coming up first in the array before Bob if they both have the same score of 20. And Andy has um, his first name starts with an A. So... That's lexicographically um, better when we're doing sorting here. So um, basically it just says we have this method, compare. So it just calls compare to actually do the sort. So we're just given two players and then they're just giving us instructions. It's not really even sorting. It's just saying we just do that. We It says return. It says, let's just see what what exactly it says. Comparator interface right implement method uh, da, 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 in short. When sorting in ascending order, the comparator function returns negative one if A is less than B, zero if A is equal to B, and one if A is greater than B, right? So that's in ascending order, so we have to reverse that. So negative one if A is less than B, so one if A is less than B. So if A dot score is less than B, we would return one, one. Um, obviously the opposite, if A dot score is greater than B, um, we return negative one, and then if a dot score is equal to B dot score, then we have to return, na do name sorting. So use name to sort. Uh, so I watched her video and basically she's saying that you don't have to do any of this. Um, she basically kind of breaks the description of the problem from what I understand. And um, she says, you don't even have to return negative one or one. You just have to return a negative or a positive value. So. I don't even remember seeing that uh, in, in the problem, but that's what she says to do. So she says, by default, if you just return B dot score minus A dot score, well, then we know that it's going to be the same as what we were doing with the if statements, because if A dot score is bigger than B dot score, we're going to return a negative value. And if a dot score is less than B dot score, then we're gonna return a positive value. If they're both the same, we're gonna return zero. So that already works for everything. And then she just says, for the name sorting, we just do the check at the beginning. And then we do, we use a built-in method, um, a Java method. So we do A dot name dot compare to B dot name. So yeah, I read her book, it's pretty good, but, um, and her explanation is pretty good. I mean, this makes sense. It's just like, she kind of just, it's not, it shouldn't be a medium problem, first of all. The description should be a little better. And she kind of does like, pulls a little trick solution out of nowhere on you. So uh, we use this compare to method out of a string class in Java, I looked it up. And this compare to method is a perfect, it's like a perfectly designed method for this problem. Um, apparently comparators are really popular and I'm just kind of dumb, I guess, for not knowing about them. But yeah, if it, it checks the sorting of the strings and it returns the exact value we need. So, you know, if that's one's greater than, yeah, right. Positive, negative, or zero. So, um, yeah, we don't care about the ones specifically. I don't know why in the description it says the ones, but yeah, if we run this, uh, obviously we have to return this, sorry. Um, then that's it. We just run it. It will work first try. I would recommend checking out Gail Lockman McDowell's video if you want a better explanation, even though that's pretty much it. I mean, you sort 
you just do what they say in the problem. I don't know. This is like a this is a weird and kind of dumb problem. I think I don't think this is good for interview preparation. Get it's good to know about comparators though. So I guess one thing to know about comparators is just that they're a thing in their methods used to compare things. And I didn't know there was like this main interface for them. So there we go. We ran it. It's perfect. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this problem deserves to be medium to you guys. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out my other videos where we do a little bit more, I think, better problems than this. So I didn't like this one. So see you guys next time. And yeah, just see ya.